is we collected e-waste and pharmaceuticals here at our college and these this e-waste came from different parts of uh, the Menominee Indian Reservation. <laughs> The Indian tribe of Wisconsin in Kashina is being praised for its massive cleanup projects during the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge that involved over 100 projects across eight states that comprise the Great Lakes Basin. The College of Menominee Nation held a pharmaceutical and electronic waste collection as part of the EPA Challenge. We'll have more on that project in a moment. Other tribal projects during the challenge included the cleanup of two reservation communities by tribal school students, the Menominee Teen Court Panel, and many other volunteers. And all classes at the tribal school taught the students about the sturgeon that is a vital part of Menominee legend and heritage. Called the guardian of Menominee wild rice, the sturgeon used to spawn on the reservation until a man-made dam blocked the route so the sturgeon could not reach their ancestral spawning grounds. The students also whitewashed gang graffiti at a skateboard park, replacing it with American Indian art. Adults participated in the challenge in a big way, as the tribe's solid waste and recycling department held curbside e-waste collections during Earth Week, and all month accepted e-waste at their transfer station. Cardboard and other items are also recycled by the Menominee tribe. Native American and other students also made garbage monsters at the Kashina Public Schools, with help from their parents using common everyday trash from home. The students made a presentation on how to reuse stuff they normally throw away in the trash, like plastic jugs. More than four tons of e-waste, pharmaceuticals, and other recyclables was removed from the Menominee Reservation during April 2008. The College of Menominee Nation held a pharmaceutical and electronic waste collection as part of the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge. Faculty and students brought their old computers, cell phones, and medicines to an e-waste and pharmaceutical collection site at the Tribal College in Kashina, Wisconsin to help that federal Earth Day challenge to clean up the Great Lakes Basin. And we had a person go and, and look for things or, and go to offices and ask them what they wanted to give because the importance of collecting e-waste like old computers, old televisions, old cell phones, batteries is we don't want those to get into the landfill. So we collected about about 30 different components of computers and dozens of batteries and about 12 cell phones. At the College of Menominee Nation, the Earth Day 2008 e-waste and medicine collections went smoothly as people turned in hundreds of items. And we collaborated with uh, the Menominee Indian Tribe's solid waste coordinator, Diana Wolf, and we had a, a good collaboration with them because we took all of our pharmaceuticals and all our e-waste over to the transfer site that she runs and she helped also promote this event and there she sealed up uh, the pharmaceuticals and they ultimately will be incinerated and properly disposed of doing this instead of flushing things down the toilet. Over 23 pounds of medicines were turned in including a hundred bottles of pills, more than 25 computers and dozens of related components like hard drives, printers, keyboards, and speakers. Also televisions, radios, DVD players, 12 cell phones, and over 100 small batteries. Overseeing the pharmaceutical collection was Heidi Cartwright, a part-time Manawa police officer and the college's police science instructor. We also collected 23 pounds worth of medicines and pharmaceuticals that people didn't need anymore in their houses, and, and, and the idea was not to flush those down a toilet. So that's why we wanted to collect them here. While hosting the collection, the college's Implementing Sustainable Development class found out that they had won the National Recycling Coalition BIN grant through Coca-Cola. Another initiative that we did is we wrote a grant. Our, 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 our students, the five students, wrote a grant to the National, National Recycling Coalition. And what we wrote a grant for was to, to get 50 different recycling bins. Coca-Cola Company contributes the, the funds for these bins and we were notified that we were awarded this grant so it's a good experience for the students to write a grant and then ultimately to be accepted of it. We learned that we were one of 75 
organizations around the country that received the grant and that there were over 1,100 different uh, applications for it. So with these recycling bins, uh, these blue bins, we will be placing them in our new library. We also be putting them around in different parts of our college. We also hope to uh, to contribute and donate a number of them to the local school system here, the, the local tribal school, that to promote recycling uh, from them. The class is no stranger to projects involving the environment. It had participated in the 10-week Recycle Mania project two years in a row that involves weighing recyclables as they leave the building. Another project we've been working on is something called Recycle Mania. For 10 weeks, this class has been collecting all of the, the paper and recyclable bottles and cans from our, from our campus and weighing them and then putting them in the recycling bin uh, which is later taken to the transfer site. So we've been on a weekly basis weighing everything, all the recyclables that leave our doors. We were competing against 180 other colleges and universities around the, co uh, around the country. We were the only tribal college in all of those 180 that were participating in this competition. And we got in 136th place out of 180. They even beat out Ohio State and Georgetown. So we were pretty pleased with that. We collected a 8.72 pounds per person that was collected in paper and bottles and cans. One of the premises of the class is not just to talk about what they're going to do and how the world could be changed, but rather having students do things. So those are just some, some of the initiatives that it's important for us to not only talk about sustainable development, but actually do things. And uh, that was the main thing about this class is to, to, to be directly involved in some sustainable activities and so they can feel that they are participating to the, the betterment of our of our earth. We had good participation from our staff and from some of our students here at the college and it was successful. This, our students, the class arranged it all, did the did the publicity for it and uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a good day and hopefully we'll be able to do more things with the solid waste coordinator with Diana Wolf in the future. <laughs>